I can hear the whispers in the treetops behind me telling me that you belong to this land. Hi there, uh, welcome to Viking Wednesday. I'm not at my Viking, <laughs> sorry, Viking cabin. Uh, that's because I have a horrible migraine um, and I need to move a little bit. It helps to walk and uh, the forest heals. I'm going to talk a little bit about the constant attack on Viking culture, Viking identity, Viking pride. Can I even say that? Is that allowed at all? And by Viking, I mean Viking in the in the way we use that word in Norway. I'm Norwegian, by the way. Um, <sighs> We tend to use Viking uh, as a name for our ancestors uh, and it's maybe a little bit incorrect but that's it's ingrained in our language so even though I'm speaking English now and I should say the Norse I might be saying Viking throughout this video. So <clears throat> um, I am sure that you are aware that there's a push to get uh, everything Norse or Viking discredited as something that came from other places. So if you didn't know the idea is that is that um, whatever we have here in Scandinavia, whatever cultural background we have from our Viking ancestors, the Norse. It came from outside of Scandinavia. We had nothing original here and and this I'm going to talk about in, in another video. We were not even a uh, people in a genetical sense uh, of that that word. And that's you know those all, all of that it, it's just lies. It's evil lies. Um, and I believe that... Sorry. Uh, I believe that um, there's a lot of envy that drives this and motivates this push to discredit everything Viking. Oh, there's a little dog. Hi! Uh, the... <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, that was the owner and we had a little chat. Um, but okay, um, I think it's envy. Envy is driving uh, this uh, constant uh, push to discredit everything Viking. Um, and because... Oops, sorry. And if you think about it, Viking values are a recipe for success in life. And I'll get back into that in other videos, and I have talked about it a little bit. But um, it's all about making a fortune by working hard, by being a, a responsible and loyal and uh, uh, good person in a way, well in, in every way I would say and that might surprise people actually and also there is a certain or massive massive hatred towards what these people perceive as and I don't like the expression, but they use it. White culture. They don't like that. Um, these are radicals. 
and uh, they have ill intentions. I became what I guess you would call a Norse heathen uh, in the 90s. Uh, I'm not dogmatic. I'm not, um, you know, I. this is my church where I am now, you know, nature. And so it's very, it's very simple to me, you know, nature. It's all about nature. I remember um, the attacks on the Norse way of life, the Norse belief system back then, because it, there is nothing new about it. Norse hedonism was ridiculed and it was made fun of. I was made fun of on a few occasions as well. But that's okay, I'm not uh, a uh, well, snowflake. <laughs> um, I don't mind, it's okay. But um, there is, you know, on a when you see that on a larger scale, um, it should make you worried. What we're seeing now is that people, the same kind of people, are now attacking uh, everything Viking, uh, Viking culture, and they they are constantly trying to say that well, the Vikings were uh, had nothing, they had didn't have their own culture; they were just a result of. Uh, what they brought in from uh, outside of Scandinavia, and they weren't even a uh, people. Um, I believe the people who are saying that, uh, the idiots who are saying that, they belong to the Church of Woke, <laughs> and uh, self-hatred is the highest virtue. Um, Again, I don't like to define people from their skin color, but I, these are mostly white people. Um, so, what can I say? There is nothing new about trying to discredit Viking culture. Um, we need to fight against it, we need to stand up against that. Because this is something that is important to people, and it's important to our identity. And we're not talking only about people in Scandinavia, we're talking about people in, uh, you know, uh, in North America, in uh, all over the world actually. And it's, it's not like you have to have Norse ancestry uh, to care about this. You don't have to have Norse ancestry to... Um, connect with uh, the Norse heathen belief system. Um, it's for everyone. It's a... Uh, it's a way of life. And it makes me angry and sad that there are people out there who are trying to take that away from us. It's not right. They shouldn't do that. On an emotional level, I can just say I don't like it. You know, it's. I try not to get emotional about this, but. It is almost as I can hear the whispers in the treetops behind me, telling me that you belong to this land. And that means something, that is important. Okay, so I know in the comments there will be people who are asking, well, or saying, well, what are you talking about? I have never heard about anyone who are trying to discredit 
Norse or Viking culture and say that there was no such thing as uh, as the Norse people. I'll get back to that in uh, another video, but I can just tell you that there certainly are people out there who are Their goal is to get the Norse, the Vikings, eradicated from history. They want to rewrite history and they want to take it all away from us. And their message to us is that you were never here. You never existed. But I will get back to that. In another video, this is uh, <laughs> this is a Viking Wednesday video, and I I just a little bit different this time. But again, I'm sorry, but uh, I had to take a walk to try to shake off the worst pain. And yeah, there is no such thing as giving up, sitting down, and just. No, we uh, we push through. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, what can I say? I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad to be talking to you. You know. And we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye.